let's suppose that we have a $400,000 home that we'd like to buy. Uh, we plan to put 20% down on the home. We qualify for a, let's go with 4.78% interest loan on a 30 year payoff schedule. My question, first of all, is I, what I'd like to do is I'd like to figure out how much interest I'm going to end up paying for this loan over time. The first thing that you're going to have to do in order to figure out how much interest you're going to owe is you need to figure out what your monthly payment's going to be. So let's go through and do that. To figure out the monthly payment, we're going to need to use our loan formula. And if we look that up, that's going to be A is equal to D times 1 minus 1 plus R over N to the negative NT power, all divided by R over N. All right, so let's go through and first of all, figure out the monthly payment. Your monthly payment is the D value. That's what I'm going to solve for. The first thing that I need to figure out then is a, and A is going to be the amount of my loan. Now, in this case, I'm buying a $400,000 house, but I'm putting 20% down on the home. So my loan is not going to be for the full $400,000. So the first thing we're going to need to do to figure this one out then is first find what is the amount of the down payment. Okay, so 20% of 400,000 will give us that. And to find 20% of anything, we're gonna change that 20% to its decimal format. We're gonna multiply by 400,000 to figure out what that's going to be. So if we do 0 0.2 times 400,000, we come up with $80,000. This is the amount of the down payment. So I have this much in cash or I've sold something that I that is going to be able to fund this $80,000 of my loan or for my house purchase. So the amount of the loan then is going to be the amount of the house. So that $400,000 minus the amount of cash I'm able to put down up front. So minus $80,000. So the loan that I'm actually going to borrow from the bank is going to be $320,000. So that's the amount of my loan. Now that I have my loan amount, this is going to be the A in my formula. I can put in all of the other, the rest of the information here based on the loan that I qualified for. So let's go through and put that information all in the formula. Instead of A, we're going to have 320000 equals D is what I'm looking for. So we'll leave that there. Then we're going to have 1 minus 1 plus my rate, this is 4.78%. So in decimal form, that's going to be 0 0.0478. We're dealing with monthly payments. So we're going to divide by 12. And then we're going to take this to the negative 12 times, in this case, 30 years for a 30-year loan. We're going to then go ahead and close off that set of parentheses and divide the whole thing by 0 0.0478 over 12. Okay, now I want to get the D by itself, but there's all of this stuff right now that's being multiplied by it. Instead of getting rid of everything one at a time, because the D is multiplied by this whole thing, I can simplify all of this down to a single number first, which gives me a much easier equation to solve. In order to do that, let's go ahead and pull out our uh, Desmos and uh, type all of our values in here that we need. So we're going to be doing, starting with the parentheses, 1 minus parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.0478 divided by 12. Move over and close that parentheses. We want the exponent next. So hit that A to the B button. So our power comes up on top. We need this to be negative 
and make sure we use parentheses so that the 12 times 30 is all in the exponent. Close off the parentheses on the main level, and then we're going to divide the whole thing by that point 0, 0.0478 over 12. Oops. Make sure the parentheses is on the right level. And what I get now when I do that is this 191.03. So remember, this is not our D. Uh, we'd be excited if we only had to pay $191 for rent, but that's not very realistic. Uh, remember that 191 is what we get when we simplify everything here. So it's D times that 191.03 or 0.04, I guess, if we round is equal to 320,000. Now we have a pretty straightforward equation to solve. Just divide by 191.04 on each side. And we end up with D is equal to, take our $320,000 here and divide it by that last answer. And we get a monthly payment of $1,675. and six cents every month. Okay, now the way that um, loaves work is we're basically paying this amount every single month spread out over the 30 years. However, the amount of money that's going towards interest is gonna be changing over time. The first month, you're gonna be paying interest on the entire $320,000 of your loan. The interest gets paid first, and then we pay down the principal a little bit so that the next time we calculate interest, we're not going to be paying quite as much interest because our balance is lower. What that means altogether is that we can't just find 4.78% of this amount and spread it out evenly over the 30 years because that's not the way that it works. So how can we figure it out? Well, it seems a little bit kind of around, a, a little bit twisted here, but it makes sense if you think about it. What we're gonna to do to find the total amount of interest is we're gonna take the total amount of money that we pay the bank, and then we're gonna subtract the amount of our loan. Because anything that's not paying off the loan that we paid is gonna be interest. All right, well, how much, how do we figure out how much we paid the bank? Well, I know my monthly payment, right? So. I made monthly payments of $1,675.06 every month for 30 years. So if I take that payment times by 12, that'll give me how much I spent every year times by 30, and that will get me how much I spent over the entire life of the loan. Uh, let's go ahead and multiply that out here and see what we get. We're gonna have $1,675.06 and we're gonna times that by 12 and times that by 30. And we end up with $603,021.60. So this is the total amount in payments that we spent over the life of that 30 years. Now, how much did I actually borrow? Well, I bought a $400,000 house, but that's not how much I actually borrowed. Technically, I only borrowed $320,000. So I need to subtract 320,000 here to figure out the total amount of interest. So if I do that 603,000, and I subtract 320,000, I end up with 283,021.60 in interest alone. So this is the total amount of interest that I paid for the house. Notice I only borrowed 320,000, so it's almost twice that amount in interest. Um, and depending on the interest rate, sometimes we end up spending more than twice the, the um, 
the value of the loan in interest over the course of 30 years. So again, a summary, if you want to calculate the total amount of interest paid on a loan, because the interest isn't evenly divided between the, the different times, we have to go back to our loan formula. We're going to use and find the monthly payment. And then once we know the monthly payment, we can figure out how much we paid altogether over that period of time. And then we're going to subtract how much we borrowed. This is going to be true for uh, a car payment, a uh, furniture payment, uh, any type of loan. Uh, as well as, of course, our house payments.